Hey guys, I got another inflatable review for you guys today, and this roof inflatable is going to be on the new 2022 uh, 5 foot wide Hocus Pocus sister scene that's being sold at Walmart this year. And it's being sold at Walmart for 89 bucks. And so, yeah, um, I got this inflatable yesterday. Now, I'll tell you guys that this inflatable was a pretty hard one for me to get. Now, the main reason I was going after this inflatable is because I wanted to get last year's one with the cauldron but I couldn't I couldn't end up finding that one so I wanted to get this one instead so uh, this inflatable was a royal pain in the ass to find because uh, my Walmarts around me didn't get very many out and if they did get it they only had like they only had like two of them out so I tried going to different Walmarts to pick this thing up because there was one that had it available but they only had one of them available, and I went over there, and it, they sold it the day I wanted to get it. And then there was another one that only had one available. I went over there, and it sold the day I tried to get it. So, so uh, I ended up going to um, a Walmart that was being delayed with their Halloween stuff, and luckily they actually had this out because they were just setting the Halloween stuff out when I came over there that night, which was yesterday night. So, yeah, they had... It, it's interesting because that Walmart apparently has nine of these, but I only saw four of them, so I don't know if they have more in the back or not, but trust me, this inflatable uh, is a hot seller, that's for sure, and a lot of resellers are going crazy over this one. But enough talking about the inflatable, I finally have this in my possession, so so yeah, I'm very happy to have it. And the main reason I was going after the Walmart one, Walmart Base Man Hocus Pocus Sister Scenes is because the Home Depot ones are expensive, and this is like the only other base fan one they, they made this year. That's actually a base fan. So, so yeah, it's, it's, it's the item self-explanatory. Uh, what's different on this one is that they put a tombstone with Emily Binks on it instead of the cauldron. Um, now, I don't think the tombstone's like as fitting with the characters as the cauldron is. And I think that's more of a reference for people who actually watch the Hocus Pocus Sisters movie. I don't know who Emily Binks is, but I'm pretty sure she's a character in one of the movies. So... We got the box is pretty standard, nothing too special about it. And then it comes with four base stakes and two curly stakes. That's basically the stakes for this. So now let's see the actual inflatable itself. So here's the actual inflatable itself. Now this thing is pretty small in person. It's only four foot tall and about five foot wide. And uh, on this one, they kind of went to lunchtime with the one I got, and you can kind of tell that they went to lunchtime with mine because. Uh, they actually messed up uh, the stitching on Sarah's head, so she's looking a lot more towards Winifred than she's supposed to. But, I'm not going to bother returning this thing because I hate returning inflatables because they're returning them is like a pain in the ass to me. So that's why I'm not going to bother returning this, but it looks, it looks pretty neat the way it is, so I'm not too bothered by it. But yeah, here's the inflatable itself. It's got a YF-80, 67s, pretty self-explanatory where, where the lights are. And yeah, now this thing actually does inflate pretty good. It's only because the it's because this inflatables are pretty small inflatable. The characters are only about four foot tall. Sarah's a tad smaller. But yeah, they actually put the base fan in a different position this year. They put it in Winifred instead of in the tombstone because on the last year's one of the cauldron they put in the cauldron instead of Winifred. But yeah. This playable is pretty neat. It lights up pretty good, with the exception of the tombstone. I kind of wish that if they did the text on the tombstone, they would just be like, like, uh, like fabric sections instead of the screen printed sections. Because with the black on, with screen printed on black, you can't really see the screen, screen printed too well. That's my only real nitpick with this one. Whatever the nads, a pretty solid little inflatable. It's kind of pricey because this inflatable is so small, but honestly, I think it's a honestly, I think it's still pretty decent. And so yeah, it's it's funny because this actually has a stronger fan than the Jack scene. The Jack scene only has a sixty, and that's also pretty small in person too. Um, I think the price is slightly more reasonable on this inflatable than the Jack inflatable. Main, the, main, the main reason they're more expensive is because of licensing for these characters. And that's why 
they're more expensive. But yeah, here's here's a up close view of the sisters. It's got the three sisters. There's nothing too much to say about them, except for Sarah. Her head's you can tell that her head's focusing way too much to the towards Winifred, but that's just a factory error on mine. So yeah, plate's pretty good. Now this inflatable actually was supposed to have a 60, I believe, because on the prototype one, there wasn't there. There's you can only see five C7s on it. So I believe this was going to originally have a 60, but they changed it over to an 80 the, the last minute, which was which is pretty good on Jemmy's end. Thank you for doing that. But uh, yeah, it's a solid inflatable. It's slightly pricey, like Jack, but it's a pretty decent inflatable. And uh, if you wanna, if you want a base fan Hocus Pocus sisters theme that scene that's more affordable, then the Walmart one would be the one to go because that Home Depot one's way too expensive in my opinion. But yeah, it's pretty neat and flavorful. Don't have anything too much to say about it. If you like Hocus Pocus, then this one's going to be inflatable for you, I guess. So that's pretty much it for this inflatable. Uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more reviews.